Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to explore the option of bulk editing in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance One Operation. Very recently, this feature has been launched in version 10.38. So if you have done your version upgradation to 10.38, then only you will be able to uh, use this particular feature, right? So even I have not explored about, even I have not used this feature as of now, I'm just trying to explore this for the first time. So let's check out this feature jointly. If you're watching this video for the first time, my name is Sriram Sivashankran and I have been posting videos and articles related to Dynamics 365 on a regular basis. And if you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile. Yeah. So let's get into today's video. So in order to enable this feature, Let's get into the usual system administration feature management and uh, the feature name is bulk editing. So yeah, so bulk editing in grids. This is the particular feature which is launched very recently. So using this feature, the user will be able to edit multiple rows simultaneously. So in, at the grid level, you can select the um, select the rows and you should be able to edit the fields so that's what we are going to explore in today's video so first of all I am going to enable this feature right now so I have enabled it uh, so now after enabling it the status is active so now I'm going I'm going to refresh this page um, so after refreshing the page I'm planning to go to maybe in the accounts payable I'll go to all vendors so in the all vendors session after enabling bulk edit option see generally otherwise what we will do is we will go to individual accounts vendor account and then um, and then edit the details whether group level or whatever it is and or we will in order to edit the grid level we will change the maybe vendor group if i need to change i will change it like this over here like so individually i need to do that right so this is the current functionality which we have in d365 but after enabling the bulk editing option um so we should have yeah so we have now have the option called edit selected rows so i click on edit selected rows and uh, okay it is asking me to select the field currently it is showing me only two fields i think it, it is not allowing us to change all the field because there is no point in allowing the user to change in vendor account or vendor name because some of the fields will be non-editable i think currently it is asking us to change group and currency i will try to include a maybe one more column we will include purchase pool also purchase pool let's try to do a bulk editing for these three fields okay um so now i'm going to click on edit selected rules then i should get purchase pool yeah so now we are getting purchase pool also right so this bulk editing option is not available for all the fields in the grid so it is available for maybe specific fields um whichever already editable in the at the grid level so that's a that's a point which we should note on so i let me select uh, these five rows and then uh, going to click on edit selected rows the fields i am planning to change the group the values yeah so it is correctly fetching the values from the vendor uh, vendor group master i'm planning to change it to 30 okay i'll click on apply great so it has successfully applied it uh but uh, still it is yeah so it is asking us for the confirmation or in terms of whatever the fields which we have updated because if you see there is a red flag which asks for the confirmation because do you want to apply the default dimension values of the group so that anyway even if you update it manually system is asking to going to ask us but uh, let's try to update currency and purchase pool simultaneously. Let's see, is that possible? Because I noticed there is an option called add, add, right? So let me add it. I'm going to change the currency. I, first of all, I have selected only one row first. Let me select the first four rows. Okay. Then I'm going to click on, sorry. I'm going to click on edit selected rows. Um, then I go to feed, field. I select currency, click on add, let me select purchase pool also, then, uh, okay, I am going to change this to INR, first four rows, I want the currency to be changed to INR, the purchase pool, I want it to be changed to 02, okay, 
now i click on apply that's great so so immediately the currency and inr for the selected rows are changed so this works very similar to how we can copy paste from the excel also from the excel also if it is a grid level view then you can copy paste the values for uh, but uh, the way it works based on the selection is the beautiful thing because from the excel even though i copy paste it cannot be for the selected rows even I, if i want to update it for uh, under vendor records or under customer records i can quickly select it and then i can go to edit selected rows and then i can complete it very swiftly uh, rather than going to individual records and and of course please note here it is not applicable for all the grid level changes whatever the already uh, the grid level editable fields only those you will be able to update but still it's a fantastic option as far as updating your master records are concerned right so please do explore this feature and make sure that you update your version to 38 and then enable the feature in uh, feature management and then try out this feature and use it in your projects and uh, daily operations so if you want to re get regular updates please do follow my profile and hope to see you in another interesting article tomorrow thank you